all uh myself myself dr dk kamble assistant advisor nat now i am giving presentation about ssr preparation for cycle 2 institutions and subsequent cycles <clears throat> before start the presentation i welcome to all the participants and my senior officer and my colleagues that you know that nac has implemented revised accreditation framework since 2017 onwards those institutions have already got accreditation before 2017 uh the that, that was the totally old system <clears throat> now most of the institutions they are applying for cycle second and subsequent cycle for national uh, assessment and accreditation process of nac those institutions have to strictly follow the revised accreditation framework and this rf which was implemented in 2017 it is totally robust and transparency the entire process it is through online only no manual work nothing hence it is suggested to all the institutions before preparing ssr before applying the iiqa for subsequent cycles or cycle 2 kindly follow the respective manual because nac has come out various manuals and various sops standard operating procedures that standard operating procedure it gives a clear cut picture clear cut information about quantitative matrix only and that all uh, manuals uh, are available on nac website so before start the preparation of ssr kindly follow the ssr information guidelines notifications all it is available in our nac website and kindly follow the glossary which is available in last page of the ssr that glossary is also gives a, a clear cut information of particular meanings which covered in the uh, matric wise in the ssr because those institutions are applying for second cycle second or subsequent cycle that got the accreditation before 2017 that total system it was different but now it is different totally it is online process see uh, before start the actual presentation here i wanted to give a criteria wise presentation as you know that in the ssr there are seven criteria so each criteria i will give the presentation what in that especially i can give the highlights more focus on quantitative matrix what quantitative matrix is there and what documents are required and what data is required what uh, information is required because <clears throat> in the manual uh, there are two types of the matrix are there on qualitative matrix that is descriptive answer minimum the institution has to write minimum 300 to 500 words that is related to qualitative only so coming to quantitative uh, matrix that quantitative matrix it is purely based on the supporting documents data informations based on that the dvv partner third party will be evaluated that is system generated score totally it is system generated score that is 70% that is dvv so before start this actual presentation again i wanted to share one thing with the institutions so whatever recommendation given by the peer team in the visit during visit in previous cycle that recommendation whether it was implemented by the institution or not what is the current position whatever the recommended last visit whether it was implemented or not so try to all the recommendations whatever suggested by the peer team during the last visit so coming to next cycle so this is also very important task to the institutions into each preparation of ssr and now before start this one one more i wanted to share with 
for the second cycle and subsequent cycle institutions. Today's webinar it is focused on especially for uh, subsequent cycles. <clears throat> Those institutions have already accredited previous, whether it may be first cycle or second cycle, whatever. Those institutions have to submit that annual quality assurance report EAQR, to the NAC through online. And that option it is available in your institutional portal. Manage AQR yearly. That yearly the institution has to submit the AQR to the NAC through online. And that same AQR it should be available in their institutional website. And it is mandatory for all the institutions in the country. <clears throat> then coming to preparation of ESSR. Here, I can give the presentation about preparation of HSR, especially for because there is a separate university, there is a separate Thomas College, separate and allied science, whatever. Here, a presentation about. Uh, affiliated colleges. So in that, uh, the preparation of HSR. So there are uh, two types of the matrix are there. One equivalent and QNM, qualitative and quantitative. So before start that actually QI quality indicator framework criteria wise, uh, preparation of HSR in that first one executive summary. So institution has to write the executive summary. It is the YAU each and every institutions applying assessment and accuracy process shall prepare their own executive summary highlighting the main features of the institutions the example introductory remarks means that is introductory note of the institution whether that in the in that location vision mission goal sign types of the institutions it may cover maximum two pages not more than Two pages. Criteria wise summary, it should not be more than 10 pages. It should not be uh, below the uh, before uh, 10 pages. Means criteria wise summary. And institutional strength, weakness, opportunity, and challenges. That SWAC analysis is also very important. It is also, it should not be more than two pages. In additional, any information if the institution have. So, entire that information, the executive summary should not exceed more than 20 pages pages means maximum 500 words it should be covered within 20 pages or maximum 500 words that all uh, executive summary information it covers in the uh, this one the executive format after that in the preparation of hsr profile of the institution is also very important but profile of the institution is not uh, it is nothing but it is the basic information of the institution that it is available in the institution say what is the basic information simply uh, the see the name of uh, name and address of the institution communications uh, and uh, status of or type of the institution whether your institution is a uh, co-education or education or government aid, aid private whatever source of funding and the data of established when it was established by the institution, where in which university the institution is affiliating, whether the institution is having TF or TOLB, if it is uh, the facility is having, uh, then you can provide the documents in the SSR and IIQ also. If those institutions are not having that facility, that TF and TOLB, so that institutions are also eligible for applying uh, a and a process, not the issue. <clears throat> then campus area and location. And what, how many programs offered in the institution? That program details is acquired, uh, required is also require, required in this profile. And how many new programs introduced, especially during last five years? Means in the SSR, uh, uh, as per the SOP, uh, uh, some of the metrics ask five year data. So that's why it is one option is there. How many programs introduced during last five years? That is new programs. So these are the basic information and how many departments in the institution that list of departments number of teaching and non-teaching posts in the institutions and qualification qualification of the teaching staff 
visiting faculty, how many visiting faculties are there, number of students enrollment during last five years, in that how many students admitted from reserve category, and in it cost of education, previous accreditation status, means when it was uh, accredited by NAC, date, and what is the uh, CGPA, and what is the uh, that grade. And data of establishment IQC is also very important in the institution for preparation of IQC or in the entire NAC process. That IQC rule is very, very important in the institution uh, because, as per my observation, IQC rule and functional of IQC is and that IQC activities is the uh, heart of the institution, especially for accreditation process because the IQC has to maintain that records in the IQC and documents. Because nowadays in this RAF system, documents are very, very important because baseline document only the 70% evaluation will be done by the DVV, that is third party, and details of submission of AQR. So in beginning only I told you, so those institutions have accredited already, and they are applying for now cycle to subsequent cycle. Those institutions have to submit annual quality assurance support that AQR yearly through online to the NAC. And that same AQR, it should be available in their institutional website. So this uh, this is the profile uh, means this is the basic information which covered in the in beginning in the SSR only. So after that, the extended profile of the institution, that the extended profile data or that the extended profile information is very very important because what the whatever the institutions are given. Uh, that uh, ex extended profile data in that extended profile format that data is using as a denominator data in the ssr in the metric was very very it requires for dvv process that is very very important um, hence that while filling the extended profile the institution should take a more care for the filling the data so coming to extended profile uh, filling the information in that first one programs in that two options are there how many courses are offered in the institution and how many courses are uh, offered in the uh, uh, institution and how many programs offered in the institutions that detail required is required means how many total courses are there in the institution how many total programs are there in the institution that total figure is also required in the extended profile. And most of the institutions are getting confusion between course and program. See here, program is nothing but BA, BSc, BCom is one program for undergraduate. For master degree, MA English is one program, MA chemistry is one program. PhD one uh, PhD in economics is one program. Like this, how many courses? Example. BA is one program for undergraduate. You can be how many semester is there? There are six semesters. For six semester, how many subjects are there? That all subjects are nothing but courses. This is the difference between BA is one program, under BA for all semester, how many subjects are there? That all subjects is included as a courses. This is the uh, difference between course and the programs. Then students, number of students. How many uh, uh, students admitted year wise during last five years? That data is also required. That total admitted student details is required. So, after that, how many reserve category students admitted? How many? One second. Then uh, coming to academic purpose. See, for academic related information, that is how many full time teachers in the institutions and how many total sanction posts in the institution. That total data, that total figures is also required in this external profile. Then related to institutions. What is the related institution? How many? The number of classrooms and seminar halls in the institutions means num total number of classrooms and seminar halls in the institution. Total expenditure excluding salary component and number of computers. For this, 
we need a supporting documents. For example, how many class seminar halls are there? That recently geotag photos are required and that list of classroom is required. That I will explain in criteria wise. Hmm. But these are the total numbers that data is required in the extended profile because whatever the university institutions are giving data in the extended profile, that data is taking for uh, DVV as a denominator data. Then coming to quality indicator frame, QIF, means criteria wise analysis. The quality indicator framework given below presentation that is each criteria wise. In data, there are seven uh, criteria, as you know that. On that seven criteria, there are two types of the metrics. One qualitative matrix, which related to descriptive answer, means institutions has to give a descriptive answer minimum 300 to 500 words in the SSR. That is related qualitative, and that is the 30% evaluation will be done by peer team which is during onsite. Then coming to quantitative matrix, the quantitative requires facts and figures, means that requires totally supporting documents, means it is totally based on the supporting information, supporting documents. For QNM, that data is required, related data, supporting documents are required, that all supporting documents, it should be certified the concerned authorities. Without seal signature of the any documents, NAC will not consider for DVV evaluation process related to specially quantitative metrics. Without the proof, they will not evaluate. For quantitative metrics, whatever the institutions are giving information, it should be in the proper channel. Proper manner means with seal signature of the authorities. Then coming to criteria wise analysis. See, criteria first. That is curricular aspects having 100 weightages. In that, first one, 1.1, it gives a clear picture about curricular planning and implementation in the institution. For that 20 weightages there, in this criteria wise analysis, I will focus only on quantitative metrics because quantitative metrics will be sending for third party DVV evaluation and it is purely based on documents. So here I can give idea in what metric is there, what documents are required. See, coming to uh, 1.1 in that uh, this uh, starting to it is qualitative. So coming to 1.1.3, how many teachers are involved? in BOS or academic council or setting up the question papers, design of curriculum or evaluation process. For that, for this metric, the institution has to give the list of the teachers. How many teachers involved in the BOS or AAC or question paper setting or evaluation? According to that list, the institution has to provide that supporting documents. What supporting documents is required? The example for BOS, who is nominating BOS member, university or autonomous colleges only. That nomination nominated letter is required from the university authority or autonomous college authority. Like this academic council or question paper setter means from university registry evaluation or controller of examination from autonomous colleges or evaluation orders from the university or autonomous colleges. Like this, these are the documents are required. So based on the list of the teachers, those involved in the different positions like BOS, Academic Council or Question Paper, with supporting document that will be evaluated by the third party. Means these are the requirement. Like this, before preparing the SSR or applying the IITWA, my suggestions would be before applying, before prepare the SSR, kindly follow the SOP of that respect to institutions. Because SOP gives a clear picture. It is like one type of the question answer of the students. 
See, means what? What question is there? What answer should be right? Like this, what metric is there in the SSR? What documents are required? For documentary requirement, that quantitative matrix will be evaluated third party based on supporting documents. Then coming to 1.2, academic flexibility for that cultivated is there. In that first one, one to one, percentage of CBCS, choice based credit system, whether the institution has implemented CBCS or elective courses. For that, if they introduce CBCS or elective courses, how many programs or how, what subjects are there implemented by CBCS? For that, that particular syllabus is required. Particular syllabus or that course structure is document is required. In that, the CBCS word, it should be there. Under CBCS scheme, the following programs was implemented in that institution. That supporting syllabus is required. Means, Syllabus or core structure to documents that it is available in the syllabus for second or third copy that core structure. Then coming to number of add on or certificate programs offered in the institution. How many add on or certificate programs are there in the institution during last five years? If the institution given some data, two, three, four, or ten certificate courses, that list of certificate programs is required as per the list. We need a that syllabus of certificate programs. In that a brief syllabus, that syllabus it should be covered. Certificate programs. Fine. In that course structure, minimum 30 hours is required for certificate programs. It is a mandatory. Minimum 30 hours. If it is minimum 30 hours, it, it that word it is there in the syllabus, then that will be evaluate that syllabus. That they will review the uh, documents. If the syllabus, it should not cover minimum 30 hours, that syllabus will not be considered or specific certificate programs. Then, average percentage of students in certificate course. See, if the institution started some of the certificate programs, for that, how many students admitted? That admitted student record is required. That attendance is also required as per the student list. Then coming to curricular enrichment for that there is also 30 weightage in that uh, QNM average percentage of courses that includes experimental learning through project work or field work or internship for that that particular syllabus is required with the help of the syllabus only the institutions they, they should get the uh, uh, experimental learning programs for that that syllabus copy is required in that particular subjects. Then percentage of students in project or field work. For that, how many students uh, admitted, especially for that project work or that field work, that students, list of students that attended, and main important, that completion certificate is required. Which one? That project or field work or internship completion certificate. Institution should provide all these documents. Then coming to feedback analysis. See, related to feedback, there are two metrics which covered in the criteria. First, see, in one, uh, 1.4.1, feedback on syllabus. See, feedback on syllabus related to curriculum feedback need a feedback sample form, feedback collected forms from student, teacher, employer, and alumni. Most of the institutions, they are not providing this one. Simple, you can take, may prepare a feedback form, separate from student, one separate from teacher, and one separate from employer and alumni. That collected four uh, separate feedback forms is required related to syllabus. Then coming to next one feedback, that is 1.4.2. It is feedback process. Whether the institutions are only collected feedback or they are analyzed the feedback, whether they have taken action taken or not, and that action taken report, whether it is available on their institutional website or not. That all record is required. Most of the institution, they are providing only that collected feedback forms during uh, sub, uh, submission of SSR. But no, after collecting that uh, feedback from the student, teacher, employer, or alumni, it should be analyzed through the committee of the institution. 
And after analyzing what is the process, then action taken report is required. Then after that, whether action taken report, it is available on their website or no. Whether that action taken message it knows to students or parents or stakeholders or not. For that purpose, the institution, they should be uh, upload that action taken report in their website. Then only the committee will review all these documents for TVB purpose. Then coming to criteria two. That is specially teaching and learning and evaluation portion, which covers maximum weightage, that is 350 weightages. See example, student enrollment time profile, for that 30 weightages is there. In that uh, metric, 2.1.1, average enrollment student means average admitted student record is required for this metric. How many students admitted during last five years? It, that list it should be certified the head of the institution for that 20 weightage is there as per year wise if the institution are mentioning uh, 100 100 200 like this that year wise the approved list of the admission is required whether it may be from the university otherwise the head of the institution it should be certified means principal has to sign with seal and signature of in that list then average seats filled against to reserve category See how many students are admitted in the institution from reserve category because that reservation policy is different from state to another state. Because as per the state reservation policy, whether the institution has implemented that reservation policy or not in the institution. As per the reservation policy, how many students are admitted from reserve category? That reserve category details is required. Here, there are uh, for DVB purpose, we need two main important documents. One. Uh, that is government reservation policy. The institution has to provide that government reservation policy. So up in next number two, that how many students admitted as per the reservation policy, that category wise list with certified by the institution head, that documents are required. Then 2.2, catering to students diversity. For that uh, 50 weightages is there. In that uh, quantitative, student full-time teacher ratio so in beginning only i told you that number of how many students admitted in the institution that data is also available in the extended profile how many full-time teachers that data is also available in the extended profile some of the metrics the system directly it will be captured from the extended profile that data how many students are there how many full-time teachers system only give the score based on the uh, given information in the extended profile but in this metric, we need a supporting documents. Means what? How many students admitted? So earlier it is there in the criteria first. The year wise admitted student list certified by the institution. And how many full time teachers? If the institution has mentioned 20 full time teachers there in the institution, no. For only 20, no. As, as we need 20 appointment letters. 20 full time teachers appointment letters is also required. Then only that uh, supporting document will be. Uh, review by the our uh, committee. Then coming to teaching learning process for that 50 weightage is there. In that uh, one more one more metric is there uh, related to quantity two. That is ratio of mentor to the students means mentor mentee list is also required for that this metric. The principal is, should give a circular to all the teaching faculty and uh, uh, students that mentor mentee information that circular or that notice is required now, next that mentor mentee list means how many full time teachers are there in the institution for each teacher how many students allotted as a uh, mentee means that each students how many students allotted that teacher wise or department wise which certified by the head of the institution these documents are required for this matter means the mentor mentalist then average percentage of full-time teachers again the sanction force see how many full-time teachers are there in the institution if the institution is showing that 20 full-time teachers are there in the institution for that what the documents are required for this that appointment letter is required appointment letters if it is the government employee that appointment letter if it is the society appointment that society appointment letter is required Mm -hmm. Then only the 
our DVV partner will review the documents as per your data. Then coming to sanction post, that sanction post documents is also required. If it is a government institution, that government sanction letter by the government letter, that is required. Otherwise, management sanction letter. It should be certified by the management, not principal. Means that documents are required for this matter. Then average percentage of full-time teachers with PhD. See, in the institution, out of 20 teachers, if the 10 uh, teachers are awarded as a PhD degree, if the institution shown that the 10 PhD uh, full-time teachers are there in the institution, for 10, that 10 PhD award letter is required. Convocation PhD is required. Otherwise, notification of that PhD award letter, that also enough for the award letter. Whatever, so that supporting document is required from the university. That PhD award letters. Average teaching experience of full-time teachers. See, how many teachers teaching experience full-time teachers, but that all teacher, it should be in the same institution. Then only that counting will be uh, calculated by the uh, David partner. Means how many teachers are working in the institution in long, uh, how many years in the same institution? That experience letter is required from the uh, management or the principal. That's enough. Then evaluation process and reforms. In that, uh, these are the two qualitative metrics. Then student uh, learning program outcome. Uh, in that, 2.6.3. Average pass percentage of students during the last five years. How many students appeared for final exams? How many students passed out from final year student? That certified list is required from the head of the institution. Means simply how many students appeared out of appeared students, how many students passed? That list is required for this metric, but certified by the institutions. Then student satisfaction survey. For this, I can give on three, four minutes time, especially for student satisfaction survey. That 60 weightage it is kept for only affiliated and constant colleges. And 5 euro, 50 weightages it is kept for autonomous colleges. And 3 zero weightages for student satisfaction survey that is only for university level. So coming to student satisfaction survey in criteria 2, in key indicator 2.7, in uh, metric 2.7.1, while submission. Uh, Filling the SSR, if you click the criteria to that 2.7.1, one format will be there that will be provided by NAC. That format only the institution has to give the student detail information for student satisfaction survey. What is the student satisfaction survey information? See, how many students are admitted in the institution? Out of total admitted student, as per the NAC norms, minimum. 50% student details is required, 50, 5, 0, for student satisfaction survey in that particular format. So what format says, name of the student, gender, course, program, uh, and uh, uh, that uh, email ID, mobile number, and enrollment ID number. That basic information is required in that format. The institution, they should not uh, uh, left blank columns. They should fill all the columns, and that is mandatory. So during online uh, survey, once the institution submitted SSR to the uh, NAC, immediately means after submitted SSR, parallelly two process will be start. One DVV and one is student satisfaction survey. So whatever student data is given in the uh, SSR, based on that data, the NAC will send 30% student for student satisfaction survey. So out of 30 students, minimum requirement as per NAC guidelines, minimum 10% of the student response or minimum 100 students is required for the student satisfaction survey. Minimum 10% of the total student admitted student population or 100 students, it is applicable for colleges. And minimum 10% or minimum 500 students, it is applicable for universities. In the first initial survey, 30% survey will be taken by the NAC that is random selection of the students. In that 30%, if the minimum desired level will fulfill the 10% by the student, the survey will be complete. 
if the minimum desired will not fulfill minimum 10 percent of the students or 100 students then again second initial survey will start that is remaining all students NAC will send the link for online survey so after that survey then it will <coughs> complete the survey <coughs> then criteria three that is research innovation and the extension for that 120 weightages is there in that uh qa number related metrics are there 3.1.1 grants for research from government and non-government agencies it is having by the institution how many grants sanction or for research progress that sanction document is required if they are having then kindly provide that supporting documents for this metric then percentage of departments having research projects funded by government and non government if that facility is having by the institution the industry has to provide that research project sanction copy means sanction funding amount whether it may be government or non-government agencies then percentage of teachers recognized as a research guide if the institution is having a research guides that research guideship letter is required from the university then number of seminars and conferences workshops conducted by the institutions see in this case how many seminars conference or workshops conducted by institution during last five years for that uh, need a brochure of that conference so circular of that conference brief report or photos or attendee that proof is required for the uh, proof for the seminar conducted seminar conference and workshops then uh, research publications coming to this number of PhDs registered per eligible teacher during last five if the institution is having a guideship that guideship letter provided in the other uh, uh, earlier metric if the students are how many students admitted as a PhD student that uh, detailed documents is required in this uh, metric the number of research papers published in the journals notified on UGC website per teacher this because the institution has to provide the list of published paper list the list year wise list in that list name of the researcher name or title of the paper uh, journal name with ISS number and link that list of detail is required so apart from that list then institution has to provide that all published paper details means uh, the institution has to take the scan copy front uh, journal page then content then main paper of the research that published paper the kindly upload all papers along with the list like same in 3.3.3 number of books and chapters in edited volumes that isbn uh, number papers is required for that also the institute has to provide the list of the published paper in the edited books uh, along with that that uh, full paper details then the extension activities in that uh, 3.4.2 number of award issued from government if metric is there related to award uh, it, it may be teacher or student but that certificate it should be in the name of award NAC will not consider that thanking letter NAC will not consider that appreciation letter only that certificate it should be in the name of our then only it will be considered by the committee then number of extension and outreach programs conducted by nss ncc or youth uh, red cross other that documents is required mean that uh, the extension activities program details that brochure and brief reports are required average percentage of students participation exchange activities then how many students are uh, participated in that particular extension activities if the institution showing in one academic year if they are showing 10 programs conducted related to extend uh, extension outreach for the 10 programs each programs how many students participated that student details participation details is also required in this metric then coming to collaboration for this 20 
pages is there of the institution getting confusion and they are providing the haphazard doc documents uh, here. See, the collaboration means the institution has to share several collaborations or linkages. If the institutions are having this specialty, having this uh, uh, collaboration or linkages between other organizations or other institutions, whether it may be faculty exchange or student exchange or internship or field trip, whatever the documents, it should be in the name of collaboration or linkages between your institution with linkages organization that two parties name detail name next to that agreement details in last two parties seal and signature it is required but that 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 agreement document it should be in the name of collaboration or linkages in this collaboration or linkages mou will not consider most of the institution they are uploading providing documents mou documents in linkages no that will not be considered it is specifically collaboration or linkages only then coming to next uh, 3.5.2 number of functional mous means memorandum of understandings whether it is national or international or any university level or any industry corporate house it that document it should be on the mou only and top name memorandum of understanding your institution name then with other organization which uh, you are getting mou that two organization names then agreement then lastly two parties seal signature with date and it should be functional during last five years then only the NAC will consider that MOU document in MOU metric only. MOU document will not consider in collaboration. Collaboration or linkages documents will not consider in MOU. It should be separate. Then coming to fourth criteria, it is related to infrastructure and learning resources. In that first one, physical facilities. See, in that first one, uh, related to quantitative metrics, percentage of classroom and seminars with ICT or smart words in the issue how many classrooms are there how many seminars there with ict or smart word rooms for that list of classroom and seminar halls is required so along with the list that recently geotag photos required if the institutions are showing 10 classroom and seminar halls are there in the nation with ict that 10 rooms specially separate geotag photos is required for this metric then coming to next uh, quantitative metric average percentage of budget allocated for infrastructure in excluding shall we for budget related there are four metrics are there in the fourth criteria for all that that uh, institution has to provide that audited statement certified by the ca chapter accountant with seal and signature here example only they can highlight it what, how many amounts they are mentioning in the template for infrastructure that amount it should be matched with that audited report then institution has to highlight the uh head wise uh, amount then it is easy for the calculation example library is automated using integrated library management system for that this is qlm the institution has given the descriptive answer whether the institution is having the subscription for e-journal or shod shindu shod ganga membership or e-books database or remote access if the whatever they are having this specialty out of six the that document is also required that document or screenshot of the documents is required for this matter then a uh, 4.2.3 average annual expenditure for purchase of books and e-books and subscription to journals on these journals for that also how many uh, budget is there how many amount is there in the budget that certified uh, ca that the record is required and it should be marked uh especially uh head wise example purchase of books it should be matched with template percentage per day usage of library by teachers and students the institution they in the library they should maintain a separate register for teacher and student every day uh, those who are uh, visiting the library during the NAC process they will ask a uh, minimum one week record for clarification 
then IT infrastructure in the institution. C, students' computer ratio. How many students are admitted in the institution? I mean, how many computers are there for student purpose only? What document is required? That the student admitted list, that documents already you provide in the criteria first, I, and it is uh, that information is also available in the extended profile. But computer ratio, if the institution are showing 50 computers are there for student purpose, that 50 computers, stock register, or that purchase of computers, invoice bill is required in this uh, battery. And it should be matched stock register and whatever you given the number of total computers in the template. Then going to 433, bandwidth of internet connection in the institution. What type of internet connection is there and how many capacity is there? Whether it may be below 5 Mbps or uh, 5 to 10, 10 to 30 or 30 to 50 or more than 50 Mbps. Whatever, whatever the, that facility is available in the institution for that recently that uh, bill is required and that uh, document is required of the uh, bandwidth internet connection document and recently paid bill uh, that is required. Then maintenance of campus infrastructure. In that uh, 441 average percentage of expenditure for maintenance of infrastructure. For infrastructure maintenance, how many budget is there and what uh, and that uh, expenditure details is required that audit report is required that uh, institution has to provide that certified audit report. Then coming to student support and progression. So in this uh, 5.1 student support, 50 is there in that for first uh, 511, average percentage of students benefited by scholarship and free ship provided by government. So it is mandatory because each institution having this specialty because reserve category student government is providing scholarship that a scholarship record is required for this metric. How many students got to benefit of that government scholarship that student details uh, and the, 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 that record is required or that is available in the scholarship section or yearly that's a social welfare office or minority section office they are providing each institution wise how many students got benefit by the scholarship that document is required for this now coming to next one 5.1.2 average percentage of students benefited by scholarship free ship uh, other than government other than government for that that record is required how many uh uh, students who got benefit from the institution, not only sanction letter from the management, that the transaction detail is required to the student, that proof of the record is required in this case. Then capacity building and skill enhancement initiatives in the institution, such as soft skill, language and communication skills, or life skills in the, in the form of yoga or physical fitness, health or hygiene or ICT, computing, whatever. If whatever facility is available in the institution, that record is required for this metric. Then average percentage of students benefited by guidance for computer examination and career counseling. In the institution, how many st students got this facility for computer exams or guidance counseling, career counseling? For that, how many times institution conducted a special lecture or special class that record is required for that brochure, circular, or any resource person visited by the institution and they gave the special lecture that record is uh, required for the uh, review purpose of DVV. Then the institution has transparent mechanism, timely redressal for student grievance, including sexual harassment and ragging cases. See, institution has to uh, uh, maintain one separate cell in the institution that is a grievance cell. For that, one uh, faculty, he, he should be deputy there, a senior faculty. And uh, institution has to make a committees of different uh, redressal cells. And they have to maintain the record. How many complaints are issued in the institution? For that complaint, what is the solution given by the institution? That record is required for this metric. Then coming to Average percentage of placements of outgoing student during last pair. See, this is also one of the important metric for this 10 weightages there. So institution has to maintain one placement cell 
for that placement shall one faculty it should be deputy project placement officer and he should be maintained that yearly how many students placed somewhere whether it may be government job or whether it may be private or it, whether it may be local organization that record is required if appointment letter is there you can take a xerox copy of that students or offer letters the company people are giving offer letters or finally if they uh, they you don't have at least you take an idea of that organization where they are working that the record is required how many students you mentioned in the template year wise that got the place that proof is required whether it is appointment letter or offer letter or idea of that particular students for that that record it should be available in the placement cell and the same record it should be available in the iqsc then percentage of students progression to higher education see for UG to PG or PG to MPL, PhD or higher uh, education. The, for that also, how, yearly how many students uh, progressed for higher education? That record is also required. Means how, what record is required? That uh, particular student admission list record, otherwise admitted uh, any copy that receipt or admitted list or ID, whatever that record is required. Otherwise, finally, that transfer certificate is available in our institution. That is the last option. But before that, you should try to get that admitted copy from that particular issue, whether he uh, got the admission from your institution, admitted copy or ID or whatever related to admission. And finally, the transfer certificate is available in your institution. The institution has to provide that related documents. The average percentage of students qualifying in any state government or national or international level examination, some of the passing certificate they are giving, some of the examination authorities, they are giving eligibility certificate, whatever. It is not only here, only we mentioned net set or gate exam. No, if it is in the lower cadre exams also, which is conducted by the state government, that all eligibility students qualifying documents is required. Whether it may be eligible certificate, qualifying or mass card, whatever that record is required, for yearly then coming to in this uh, student participation activities number of award and medals in whether it may be sports or cultural activities at national international level during last five year see here also that participation certificate will not consider award that certificate in the name of award or medals only participation certificate will not consider in this metric then here, uh, quantitative relative, average number of sports and cultural events or competitions organized by the institutions, institutional or other institutional level that conducted organized events document is required. Here also, brochure or that brief report is required. In that brief report, how many students participated, how many teachers involved, in which date, where, that place, that all information it is, it should be available in the report with photo proof. Then alumni engagements. See, regarding alumni, the institute has to first uh, register that alumni in the sub-register of its government. So after that uh, alumni contribution, the institute has to open a separate account for alumni in the uh, bank, and that it should be audited yearly. Every year, that account should be audited by the CA. That record is required. Then criteria six, uh, that governance, leadership, management, there, there is no much more uh, quantitative related. There's few metrics are there. Example, 6.2.3, implementation of governance in areas of operation, whether the institution having the specialty administration for uh, e-governance, finance and account, student admission exam. If, if there is any communication through e-governance through uh, related to administration, that a screenshot of the uh, photo is required. If it is a finance related example, admission through uh, Chalan or salary through bank, RTGS, whatever, that account related to e-governance is also required. Otherwise, institutions are paying money uh, that uh, fees or whatever to the university or the government through RTGS, whatever, that uh, e-governance related, that record. Uh, student admission, if the institution getting admission through online, that screenshot, if it is available, and the examination, nowadays all universities getting examination through uh, online, filling the examination form online, uh, taking the hall tickets, that uh, screenshot is uh, required for this metric. Because option is there, 
like this metric four options are there if the institution is having four all four facilities they should provide separate four screenshot otherwise any one two or three of the above like this then coming to uh, next the quantitative related metrics average percentage of teachers provided with financial support to attend the conference or seminars if the institutions are providing yearly some of the teachers to attending the programs uh, like conference seminars then not only most of the institute they are giving only sanction letter from the management no that is not enough letter apart from that what uh, transaction detail is required how the institution are providing money to the teacher through check or through rts or through voucher that transaction detail is required for this metric then average number of professional development uh, or administrative training programs organized by the institution to teaching and non teaching staff for teaching and non teaching staff how many programs uh, training programs organized by the institution for that also that brochure or brief record is required with photo proof then this case average person of teachers attending professional development programs namely orientation repressure or induction program or short term programs or faculty development program especially in this metric minimum one week program document is required means that minimum one week completion program that certificate is required it should not uh, below one week it some of the programs they conducting one week program two weeks program three weeks program or maximum one month programs like that uh, uh, orientation program or induction program one day or two day that faculty development program will be not considered in this metric in this metric specially minimum one week program is required means that completion certificate is required with date seal signature then uh, related to this quantity to funds and grants issued from non government bodies or individual or philanthropic trust during last prior for this uh, this is this is a uh, mandatory uh, if the institution having this way issued a grant that sanction copy is required of that particular bodies with whether it may be government or individual whatever then internal quality assurance system for that 30 metrics is there what are the uh, activities through iqsc contribution of iqsc that is normally uh, after accreditation that iqsc is functioning in the institution not a issue but here we should you, the institution has to provide that minutes of the meeting of the iqsc proceeding of the iqsc at least they should take three four time meetings yearly in beginning in middle or in ending like this whatever how many conducted like this it's depend on their institutional activities and their progress that that one and uh, that is required uh, review of teaching process structures and uh, methodologies that is qlm then uh, quality assurance initiatives of the institutions in here uh, huh. Uh, this is one quantitative matrix. Uh, see, related to IQC, how many meetings they took related that the record is required, minutes of record, progress, and that feedback collected, analyzed, and use of the improvements that all documents are required, whether the institution has IQC, it is collaborative quality initiatives with other institutions. If they having that facility, they should provide the documents, whether the institutions are applying for NIRF, if applied, that NIRF status document is required, or any other quality audit, such as IA, IA, ISO certificate, whatever. Out of four, how many facilities are having in the institution that record it should be provided during the uh, submission of SSR. Here, that option metric is there, one, two, or three of the above, or four of the above, like this. Then coming to seven, it's purely institutional values and best practices. In that uh, quantitative related metrics here, uh, the, whether the institution has facilities for alternate source of energy and energy conservation measures, means that solar energy, whether the institutions are implemented that solar energy powers or biogas plants or wheeling to the grid or sensor based energy or use of LED bits. If we having out of five, whatever facilities are available in institution that screenshot uh, proof of photos is required or documents are required for this metric then uh, one more quantitative that 
related to water conservation facilities available in the institution, whether the institutions are maintaining that rainwater uh, harvesting facility or bore well or open well recharge system is there or not, construction of tank and buns, how the institutions are using water waste recycling or maintenance of water bodies and distribution system in the campus, how to maintain the water bodies and how to distribute that water to the in the campus. Uh, the, to the garden or to the building or to the washroom, whatever in the uh, premises of the campus. For that, that screenshot of geotag photos required. This metric. Then here, one more 7.115 green campus initiatives, including restricted entry of automobiles. So it is an easy method. The all institutions they should follow this one. So kindly please paste uh, uh, banners in each corner in the institution. Uh, not allowed automobiles means uh, not allowed outside automobiles in the college premises like this battery powered vehicles pedestrian friendly pathway take a photo of that one banner on the use of plastic so if she has to uh, keep the banners uh, in the corners so don't use plastics in the college premises like this and take a photo geotag and provide the uh, provide in the ssr like this then uh, landscaping with trees and plants, paperless office for that, that geotag photo proofs are required. Then um, one more there, there, 716, quality audits on environment and energy. In that it covers green audit, energy audit, environment audit, clean and green campus. For that the institute has to take a separate audit, green audit is separate, energy audit and environment audit, and kindly provide the, uh, this audit report in the SSR. Then, uh, differently able friendly how the institutions are maintaining that uh, physically handicapped students facilities means differently students uh, facilities what are the facilities are there in the institutions for example uh, physical facilities like lift is there ramp is there really software is there in the institution restroom is separate for the disabled students uh, scribes for examinations that all wheelchair is there if they are having this facility the institution has to take a geotag photo and that uh, documents related to Braille or scribes for examination they should provide in the SSR. Then inclusion and uh, uh, situatedness, specific initiatives to address locational advantages that is QLM. Then uh, related to quantitative metrics, uh, uh, here one, 7.1.10, code of conduct. Huh? It is also very one important metric. The institution has to maintain code of conduct documents related, and it is separate for teacher, separate for student, administrator, and other staff. That it should be available. That code of conduct documents always it should be available in the institutional website, and they should provide in the SSR also. Uh, so this uh, is the all these conduct metrics. Hmm. Uh, with uh, this uh, brief. Uh, uh, detailed presentation regarding preparation of SSR for cycle two institutions as subsequent cycles. I have given a detailed information, each criteria wise, especially I focused on the quantitative matrix because as you know that all that quantitative matrix will be sent for the third party DV relation and it is purely based on the supporting documents. So with this brief information, now I conclude my presentation here and uh, now session is open for question answer. For question answer session, my senior colleague, Dr. Uh, B.S. Padmudiraj, advisor, he will join for question answer session. So I request BHP sir, please uh, uh, take over, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kamble, for the wonderful presentation. Thank you, thank okay. you, sir. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank Very you, sir. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Systematically, you uh, you were able to present it, and you touched upon the triple S also for both universities, affiliated autonomous colleges, and constant affiliated constant colleges. Sure, sure, Wonderful. sure. Sure, you sure. Can sure. Stay with me. You can stay with me till four thirty if you can add value to my supplement uh, to my question answers. If Dr. Samuel is there, uh, Dr. Narayana Murthy Nagarajan, and uh, Dr. T M Joseph, Dr. C Magarwal. Many people are raising their hands. Yeah. Chat also, I have a uh, chat is there is only Mrs. N. Anshini. Uh, she has just thanks only, only compliments are there. In QA, I could, uh, yeah, in QA, there is uh, not uh, 
and uh, we will take up the live question answer if somebody dr radha krishnan dr preeti yes, uh, yes sir dr narayan murthy you may ask a question first dr narayan murthy do you have any question nagarajan okay we go to the next person tm joseph dr tm joseph you may ask a question yeah uh, good afternoon sir and i have uh, two queries uh, one is with regard to the green audit and energy audit is it mandatory that it should be done by uh, certified agencies or uh, approved agencies or can we have it by uh, non government agencies uh, uh, which are available uh, in the locality or uh, if it is uh, mandatory that it should be done by certified agencies how do we know that which are the uh, accredited agencies in this in this respect and uh, one more question is that uh, when we present the data year wise data in the ssr in what form we should uh, uh, present is there any standard accepted uh, procedure uh, for uh, submitting the data for example whether we should give the latest year first or the oldest year first uh, that is my uh, question sir thank you dr tm joseph you are from which college uh, i think i am from uh, normala college mumbai uh, as a principal i i met yeah, you yeah okay, uh, okay 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 yeah, okay fine yeah yeah fine uh, yeah, yeah, now you. dr tm yeah, joseph that is regarding your energy audit and green audit please go through the standard operating procedures of nac we are updating yes. quite often please go through the standard operating procedures what yes. is the agency we are asking whether it is a government agency government of india state government or a local or botany department or university comes and does green audit or from any accredited use the word accredited auditing agencies so all this we have yes, defined sir. in our standard operating procedure in case of this dr samuel can you unmute dr tm joseph mute mute him please mute him yes sir yes and, sir uh, so, so please uh, uh, note that standard operating procedures so go through that specifically so if it is not mention anything then any green audit which has been uh, done systematically scientifically not for the you know you understand many things happen for the sake of that and uh, you know your college goes to the next college and does green audit and other college comes to the our college and does green audit i'm not telling that is wrong or right so please take care of the standard operating procedures point number 1 point number 2 this is regarding both to green audit as well as uh, you know energy audit point number 2 regarding your uh, you know uh, format once you go for the fourth cycle or fifth cycle or third cycle or second cycle our iaqa years you know this academic years from 1st june to 31st may is our academic year for example you are submitting iaqa today that means the previous 5 years is taken leaving the current year the current year is 2021 academic year because you are submitting iaq year today so the previous 5 years is taken previous 5 years starts from 15 16 16 17 18 18 19 19 20 20 because 2021 academic year iaq is submitted and it is always in the reverse chronological order it is portal based computer based once you key in at the iaq and iaq is accepted very beautifully systematically it comes in the step by step we have given the, uh, even uh, our uh, whatever that uh, video clipping also video uh, tutorials automatically it comes from 19 20 as first year 15 16 as fifth year any of you are preparing five years whether we prepare from 15 16 16 17 18 18 19 19 20 or 20 19 18 19 17 18 19 16 15 and 15 16 one to five or four to five It is reverse, but normally it comes in reverse chronological order. Not normally, it is. Dr. Samuel, Dr. Narayan, Murthy, Nagarajan, if he is come, why he switched on and is gone? I think. Okay, uh, Seema Agarwal, you may ask a question. Okay. Uh, very good afternoon, sir. It was very wonderful presentation. Uh, I have two three queries, but I just want to ask something. What sir has recently said that. If we uh, file our IIQA in chronological orders, our period will start. But sir, I have a doubt. It is lockdown still there, and we are. I am. Let me introduce. I am from Jaipur. I am principal of Kanodia PG Mahila Mahavidyalay, Jaipur. We are in our second uh, cycle of accreditation. 
uh, our validity date was uh, february 21 but due to all this pandemic we have been uh, uh, disturbed through our neck procedure so my question is that uh, we are trying our best to fill our iiqa before 30th june suppose if we are not able to fill that till 30th june will it change our period of uh, accreditation yeah uh i was just looking at the uh, chat question i'll come back to you dr seema yes seema see yes. there are academic year yes. definition ugc has defined state governments are defining and the universities are defining mm -hmm. nac has defined the academic year is from 1st june to 31st may very very clear be clear and not yes. all the attendees please senior vice chancellors professors directors and principals and uh, teachers so 1st june you wanted to apply on 30th june 2021 hmm. so imagine hypothetical situation that means academic year is from 1st june 2021 to 31st may 2022 it is called 2021 2022 academic year okay so any time between that academic year if you apply the previous 5 years is taken not that particular academic year okay okay sir thank you um, okay. this is thank iaqa you. it's little very simple it is not complicated very very simple scientifically systematically step by step beautifully nac has put even the definition yes. of academic year for ssr and dvv purposes it is 18 months okay, okay. sir if you submit sir. your iaqa before 31st may before hmm. before 31st may 2021 that means academic year is 2021 academic year 2021 academic year so the previous 5 years will be 15 16 16 17 17 18 18 19 19 20 20 okay hmm. for ssr uh, for iaqa once it is accepted for submission hmm. iaqa submitted now or after 45 days after one hmm. week after two yes, months yes. or three months yes is immaterial when did you submit yes. your iaqa yes. that is immaterial is matters now once it is accepted then the previous 5 years data comes in reverse chronological order now the definition of academic year of 2019 2020 is defined as 1st june 1st june 2019 to 31st may 2020 due to pandemic covid pandemic ugc mhrd and ministry of education and the nac has taken a very very useful decision for benefit of the colleges that is 18 months that is 1st june 2019 to 31st december 2020 18 months data you can include in your ssr and dvv yes. will consider that yes similarly similarly please two notifications we have given in the nac website similarly yes. please look at 9th uh, july and again two yes, uh, other yes, than yes, two notifications hmm. now for the academic year 2020 and 2021 normally it is from 1st june 2020 to 31st may 2021 that also we have extended including the overlaps will be considered this is very very important for all the listeners please please go through the website download all the notifications very yes. beautiful crystal clear otherwise further if you have doubt please raise an issue ims or Or you can send a mail to director dot nac at gmail dot com. Immediately we will reply. Okay, okay. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Doctor Preeti Pragyan. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, firstly, sir, I must congratulate you for your wonderful presentation. So my query was: uh, Are all the documents to be certified by the principal, like all the matrices, quantitative matrices? Yeah, who says online? Please identify yourself. It helps us. Unless and otherwise you do not want to identify, it's fine. No, no sir. So, uh, so myself, Doctor Preeti Pragyan Rai, sir. I'm from. Uh, I'm assistant professor at Shalabala Women's College, Kutta, Kodisha. And my question is, sir, are uh, all the documents that uh, we have to give for uh, SSR? Uh, okay, sir. Uh, for the quantitative matrices. Understood. So, madam, understood. It has to be all the documents have to be certified. Um, there the are principal. three. 
I will just take a lighter side, madam. Just don't worry. Yes, there are three lakh documents. Imagine that the three lakh documents of the exactly, principal is going to sign all the three lakh documents. First of all, it raises our eyebrows. Why he has signed yes, all sir. the three lakh documents? Yes, sir. Whether it is a previous principal should sign or this principal should sign, all these uh -huh. questions will be raised or internally or externally by you or within the committee members of IQAC and criteria yes, wise committee members. Now, please go through the standard operating procedures, madam. Very crystal yes, clear, sir. we have said. Some of yes, the documents, sir. for example, six hour, my friend Dr. Kamble was talking about this. In the six criteria regarding income expenditure statement, highlight that particular particular uh, income or expenditure was a proof of evidence. Then you scan it, or in the computer itself, we highlight it. You can scan, I can, uh, uh, if the SOP asks, there you can attest it. And don't insert any signature. It does amount to forgery or manipulation of data and document. Don't okay, create sir. documents, please. Yes, sir. Wherever the SOP says given attested document by the principal, that yes, alone sir. you can attest. And okay, some sir. of the documents you feel this is just a white paper printout. It needs, it's preferred that the principal should attest. If the committee feels you can attest, there is nothing wrong. Yes, some sir. people do attest all the pages. There's nothing wrong, yes, but I just gave you a lot lighter side. I took this. I, I took it. I took it uh, as an example. Yes, thank sir. you, Dr. Yes, Preeti. Good question. Thank you Good so question. much, sir. Good next person, sir. Dr. Radha Krishnan. Yes, sir. It's a very good morning, very good afternoon, and uh, it's a nice presentation. And I have one doubt, sir. Actually, most of the time we are uh, telling about the photo with uh, uh, geotag uh, attachment, and uh, we missed for uh, some of the years. Maybe the recent years we have with the geotag. In previous years, we don't have. Do you have any solution for that? We are affiliated college and freshly going for the NAC aggregation. Oh, Dr. Palani Kumar, can you identify yourself from yeah, where are you yeah. from? Please. I am I'm from Don Bosco College, Yelagiri Hills, Tamil Nadu, and we are uh, freshly okay, applying okay, for fine. aggregation. Good. Okay. And now, your tag photographs, you must. I, I, I repeated this, even Dr. Kamble said this. Please go through the website after launching the revised accreditation framework, which is effective from July 2017. We have, we have updated our manuals and SOPs a couple of times. In fact, more than a couple of times. Please go through the revised accreditation manual affiliated college. If you are from Elegary, Tamil Nadu, if you are an affiliated college, download affiliated college manual because the recent manual very categorically and specifically talks about the current year and the previous year. It doesn't talk about last five years. Please be careful because once you have prepared two years before and you are updating your SSR, please go through the current SOPs. The current SOPs, if I'm right, it does not talk about all these things. Only the yes, geotag photographs for the current year it takes, current year, the previous year. Please go through the SOPs. So Thank wherever you. the geotag photographs is asked for the specific year, you must have it. If you do not have, still you upload whatever you have, and you can just make a certificate that uh, this has been. Uh, we didn't have the geotag photographs. Instead of reinserting or just uh, you have done it, but you don't have a geotag photograph. You have a classroom, you have an LCD, but you don't have. A, you have a photograph, but you don't have geotag. Don't insert latitude, longitude, and dates, please. Don't enter into any manipulation and fabrication of data, please. No, okay. sir, no, sir. That's what I ask. Consider or may not consider. That's a different issue. But submitting SSR, uh, kindly take care of that. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Good, good. Very good question. Radha Krishna. Sir, I don't find more. No, no, Dr. Uh, Preeti, Dr. Narayana Murthy Nagarajan he still raised his hand. Dr. Narayana Murthy, that... he chatted. I replied to him. Chat Archana BV, Dr. Archana BV. Ah, Archana BV is unmuted. You may ask a question. So Sir, that I can be closed before 4 30 also. Could you please explain the students proceed under 2.17? It will be yeah, yes. for the chat, Dr. Archana. Okay. I saw where okay. are you Thank calling you, from? Yes. Uh, from show it. Fine. Fine with you. Okay. Okay. Dr. Kamble. Sir, sir, I am available. Hello, uh, sir. Dr. Kamri, can you just put the re, uh, re upload the slide 2.7.1? They are asking Triple S. This is an university. Yeah. All right, madam. Dr. Archana. Yes. 
university yeah, yeah yeah for university sir for uh, university student satisfaction survey as per nac uh, guidelines uh, out of total admitted students minimum 50% student is required for student satisfaction survey and that format is also available during uh, filling uh, stage of assessment in uh, criteria 2.7.1 Uh, as per the NAC guidelines, minimum 10 percentage of the total admitted student, or minimum 500 students, it is that 500 student response is required to for completion of student satisfaction survey. And that 10 percentage and 500 students, it is applicable only for universities. And 10 percent of students or 100 students, it is applicable for uh, colleges. Okay. Okay. Huh? Sir, that's. Ma'am, you can download the university manual and copy. In the university manual, in the guidelines and procedural details, beautifully we have put. You have to give. You have to give all the list of students, the current year students. We have asked that the definition of current year, whether it's preceding or the current year, we have defined. And uh, preferably, minimum percentage we have uh, we have stated. Some uh, percentage okay. we have stated. That percentage you should give. Otherwise, you will give zero marks. If there are thousand students, minimum at least. Uh, Uh, 600 students, I think we have asked. Kindly just go through it, the guidelines. That's uh, please, can you can you correct me? I think 60 uh, 60% we have asked. Yeah, yeah, correct. And, 50 uh, to 60%. Correct. 50 to 60%. You should give us give the names and email IDs and mobile numbers. Yeah, yeah. Then we will computer randomly selects and sends to 30% of the student population. Yeah. In which minimum 10% of 500 is expected. I'm repeating what Dr. Kamble said. Yeah, correct. Nothing new. It is always available in the, the Manak Manual of Universities Manual. And finally, check whether Amrita is a dual mode university or it is only a just a team to be on. Do you offer distance education, ma'am? Do you offer Do distance education? No, no. No, then it's okay. Otherwise, you have to come in dual mode university manual. There are two point seven point one, two point seven point two. Two student satisfaction surveys are there. Okay, yes. so there any of you don't come under dual board. Don't worry, but okay. Thank you, Dr. Archana. Thank you, Dr. Sam. So, Sam. Rasanto, you may ask a question. Rasanto. Okay, Vijay K R. Vijay Kudala, you may ask a question. हाँ जी सर कैसे मैं ऑडियो हेलो हाँ जी सर सर वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून एंड वी आर रियली ग्रेटफुल टू यू फॉर गाइडिंग अस सर माय क्वेश्चन इज दैट आवर सोसाइटी हैज गॉट टू कॉलेज इन द सेम कैंपस सो यू सोसाइटी एक्वायर्ड सोनल सोलर पैनल्स इन द नेम ऑफ सोसाइटी ओनली सो बिल्स आर इन द नेम ऑफ सोसाइटी ओनली नॉट कॉलेज सो विल इट बी काउंटेड फॉर एनी ऑफ कॉलेज और नॉट दिस इज माई मतलब क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली दीज वर अक्वायर्ड थ्री फोर ईयर बैक But right now we are facing problem in the context of NAC. Uh, Dr. Vijay Kumar Corona. Yes. Can you kindly identify yourself, please, from which place you are calling, which college, uh, which state, which place? I am professor and head of department of business administration at Maharaja Desai Institute of Management Studies, uh, sector twenty two, Rohini, Delhi. Okay. Okay. We are. So it is from Delhi. Yeah, it is from Delhi. Yeah, okay, the management. So the society owns two colleges inside a single campus. Yes. Now, College A and College B. College A, what are the courses they offer? And College B, roughly, roughly, approximately. College okay. B, what are the courses they offer? Whether they are two independent colleges with separate IHA code from the All India Survey of Higher Education, and which universities they all affiliated to? Sir, they are affiliated to IP University. They have got separate codes. And uh, both are two separate ent entities. Which university is affiliated? They are affiliated to Guru Gobind Singh IP University. Ah, uh, Guru okay. Gobind Singh in the Prastha University. University. Okay. okay, both of them are affiliated to Guru Gobind Singh in the Prastha University. Yeah. And uh, you have uh, two separate principals. Two separate principals, separate setups. And setups and two teachers, teaching staff don't teach here teaching, and there. Yeah, one is basically engineering college, the second is basically non-engineering college. Okay, that means you yourself are telling they are two independent colleges. They have to come separately to NAC, looking yeah. the eligibility criteria for each institution. Either it should be Sorry. six years old of their existence, or two batches of students should have been passed out. 
right for engineering right. college for engineering college engineering college as a whole has to come with all the programs you cannot exclude any program only last year it was included like two years before this btech in computer science and engineering has started so i am not included you cannot tell all the programs should be included in the iaqa as on date of iaqa and uh, the other college has to come separately separately with all their courses okay. without excluding any course actually sir so what happened Three, three, to four year, three to four year back society acquired solar panels in the name of the society but right now we are making applications so we are not sure whether this bill will be, will be counted for our college or not no what beyond you apply in iaqa simple question we ask the name of the college as per the affiliation letter should be the same simple okay Second, the name of the college is the IASHE, All India Survey and Higher Education. Now, it is an engineering college. The name of the college is AACT approval for all your programs for 2021. The current year is 2021. Should be the same. Right, sir. Okay, sir. So that means that bill, uh, the bill of solar panels, will not be counted. No, I did not understand your doubt. What is it? The bill of the Sir, actually, our society acquired solar panels in the name of the society. So we have got two colleges in the same campus. So whether that bill, which is a common bill, it will be counted for our college or not? No problem, because go through the standard operating procedure regarding solar panels, energy audit, green audit for college A or college B. The okay. bill is because finance has been given because being a self-financing college or whatever it is, the management has paid it in the name of the management. Right. Now, give the proof of evidence. You show that the uh, the income expenditure statement or the audited statement or whatever they have been asked in the standard operating procedures and proof of evidence that the solar panels are placed, okay. including the photographs of the building of College A. Okay. Okay. I got it, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you uh, very thank much. Thank you, Dr. Corona. Further doubts, please call us. Please call us. Thank you, Further sir. Thank doubts, you anything. There are, there are four or five people in charge of Delhi, Northern Region. You can call them or through feedback management system or through IMS. Raise your queries. Please feel free. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, welcome, welcome. Six, but if there is any more questions, you may raise your hand so that we'll, uh, based on that, we'll wind up the Q&A session, if at all. So meanwhile, you can take up the questions in the chat and uh, Q&A. Uh, One chat is from yeah, yes, Girita. Yes, Girita PK, you may ask sir, a question. Yes, sir. Is it audible? Yes, you are audible, sir. You go ahead. Not uh, directly. Yes, yes. I can ask, I think, uh, this is relevant to clarification regarding the value added program and certificate program. Value added program means stipulation that minimum the students require. And it's only in our second, that is almost the same as a certificate program, or it will be different. It is question is clear. So please go through the glossary. What we have defined as a value added program under certificate program. Certificate program normally people say even a certificate or a pre diploma, post diploma, postgraduate diploma, advanced diploma, all any certificate given is considered. Only thing is the minimum requirements. Dr. D K Kamli was talking about the minimum time attendance. 2015, 16, 13 students participated in tally. So um, what was the syllabus? Who approved the syllabus? And whether that uh, there is a committee to approve it and how many students applied, how many students participated, how many students wrote the exam, how many students passed the exam. And we need that certificate of the students. Photocopy of the certificate scanned, which you have already distributed to the children. And we need attendance sheets. So proof of evidence, please go through. And in the glossary, we have given what is the value added program, what is the certificate, diploma, postgraduate diploma, advanced diploma, pre diploma, all certificate programs. And it's crystal clear. And please yes. download, please download because these clarifications are made in the recent manuals. Please download the current manual, which is on the website. Sir, regarding uh, Narayana Murthy, uh, just a compliment from Saraswati. Narayana College Madurai and regarding 3.22 Selva Peribal, uh, he asked the number of workshop seminars on research methodology, IPR, entrepreneurship, should the program share these names exactly or will I ask? Other seminars related to research methodology, anything related to research methodology. Need not the name should need not be research methodology. 
it can be part of the topic or it need not be part of the topic but when you have to give the brochure and the list of people who participated the dvv will consider accordingly based on standard operating procedures selva perumal chat and the next question was by chenna keshavulu uh so chenna keshavulu we will uh, we will uh, please look into the website of nac minimum uh, uh, keshavulu is asked uh, the for the people who become assessors we will open up in our website then you can register minimum should be a professor in a university not in a college minimum should be a professor in an university or a principal of a college so oh, thank you the rest are all compliments 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 dr samuel dr kamble yeah yeah, yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah yeah sir otherwise lastly i will propose vote of thanks in two minutes Ah uh, yes 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 yes. Okay, uh, with permission uh, of uh, B S P sir. Giri Dharan has already asked and we replied. I think. Yes sir. Yes sir. Archana is. Archana is still. Others are still, again. They are raising their hands. They did not put their hands down. I think we can close. If there are no questions, Dr. Samuel. Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, so before please, Doctor Kamble could uh, propose yeah, 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 thanks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, I, thank you. I thank the entire team. Doctor, one minute. Doctor Kamble, one minute, one minute. Hold, karo. Ah, please, sir. Okay. Thank all the people on live through YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, Facebook, as well as my colleagues, Doctor K R Vishnu Mahesh and Doctor N R Mohan, and uh, uh, Doctor D K Kamble, who took the full uh, session, and uh, we we thank all the participants. as well as the organizers especially the head professor sharma ji and dr samuel the ict uh, coordinator over to dr kamble yeah, yeah. <clears throat> thank you once again uh, uh, good evening one and all it gives me immense pleasure to propose vote of thanks first of all i am very much thankful to honorable director professor s sharma ji sir his support encouragement and motivation to conduct this webinar i am very much thankful to our senior colleague dr bs parmudera sir who attended and gives a very clear uh, information satisfactory answer to all the attendees who raised their queries during question answer session my sincere thanks goes to all the advisors senior advisors deputy advisors my colleagues especially from ict section dr amya kumar sir and samuel sir and finally last but not least i thank one and all who directly or indirectly support to grant make this program successful thank you one and all with permission of bsp sir can we close the webinar sir wind up the webinar yes sir yes sir yes dr kamble okay thank you thank you samuel sir we'll wind up this thank thank, thank you one and all Thank you thank you namaste sir namaste sir namaste sir